hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion with uh, the subject of power electronics and in the previous videos we discussed uh, some basic introductory concepts related to power electronics uh, the basic definition the block diagram representation and uh, some uh, applications and uh, about power semiconductor devices and converters so in this video again we are going to uh, have a basic uh, discussion related to one of the important power semiconductor devices uh, which is power diode so the basic understanding of power diode is very important to understand all the other semiconductor devices power semiconductor devices because the diode is the basic uh, building block and all the other semiconductor devices are one way or the other derived from the diodes so if we understand the construction and working principle of the power diode then we can understand all the other semiconductor devices used in power electronics in an easy way okay so we have already discussed about pn junction diode in analog electronics section so the power diode is actually a pn junction diode which is the basic building block or of all semiconductor devices so it is formed by bringing together a p type semiconductor and a n type semiconductor by the process of sandwiching so forming a metallurgical contact now i've already discussed about p type n type semiconductors in semiconductor physics uh, that discussion and also in analog electronics so you can watch those videos where i have discussed in detail about these things so here we'll not go into detail about that so the p type and n type semiconductor when they are brought together a junction is formed which is called as pn junction and the resultant device is called as a pn junction diode so the p region has a greater concentration of holes and that is the majority charge carrier and n type end has a higher concentration of electrons and that is the majority charge carrier the n type semiconductor is formed by donor impurities pentavalent impurities p type is formed by acceptor impurities trivalent impurities so what happens is that the doping concentrations in the semiconductors the extrinsic semiconductors that decides the charge concentration the amount of charge carriers now the doping densities it can be different in p and n type semiconductors and depending on that the pn junctions uh, the pn junction devices it can be represented in different ways now suppose the p and n the p and n ends they the doping concentrations in both of them are equal then we'll get a simple pn junction now if the p side is heavily doped that is the acceptor impurity concentration is more in that case it is designated as p plus subscript plus it means the p side the acceptor impurity concentration the holes on one side the p side is heavily doped similarly if the n side is heavily doped then it is signified as a n plus the donor impurity concentration is high similarly if p side is lightly doped it is signified as p minus if n side is light, lightly doped it is called as n minus so it these all are called as one sided pn junction when one is heavily doped other is lightly doped or uh, like uh, when the junction is formed in between two unequal Uh, doping concentration semiconductors then it is called as a one sided pn junction so accordingly different types of pn junctions can be formed such as p plus n minus p minus n plus p plus n plus p minus n minus and 
so on so why this is important we'll see because this this whole thing will come into play in the construction of power diode okay so you understand depending on the doping concentrations these sign conventions are used another important concept uh, in pn junction is the depletion layer so what happens is that we know that in the p side holes are the majority charge carriers in the n side electrons are the majority charge carriers when both the p and n type semiconductors are brought together and a physical contact is made free electrons from n material okay the free electrons from the n material they diffuse into the p type end and similarly holes from the p sem p type end they diffuse into the n type end so what happens is that when an electron diffuses in from the n n to the p n it leaves behind a positive charge net positive charge because electron carries a negative charge so when it uh, diffuses and moves into the p type uh, semiconductor end it creates a net positive charge similarly when a hole absence of a vacant electronic site actually i've already discussed about the concept of holes so when the hole the location of the hole changes from p to n it creates a net negative charge so this happens with a large number of electrons and a large number of holes here it, i'm just uh, showing one electron to make you understand this process happens with a large number of electrons and holes so a net positive and negative charge uh, it is uh, created at the junction the pn junction okay and this creates an est electric field across the junction okay now this electric field it stops further diffusion okay an electric field is formed around the depletion region which is called as the space charge region and this electric field this electric uh, resultant electric potential it prevents further diffusion as a result of this the immobile ions they are produced and this whole region okay this whole region around which the electric field is created it is depleted of mobile or movable charge carriers and that's why it is called as the depletion region or space charge region and the potential difference around this uh, depletion region it is called as the barrier potential or built in potential and has a value of 0.7 volt for silicon and 0.3 volt for germanium and the expression of the built in potential it is given by uh, vbi which is vt ln nd na by ni square where vt is the thermal voltage boltzmann constant uh, temperature and electronic charge this is the expression kt by e and nd is the donor impurity concentration na is the acceptor impurity concentration and ni is the intrinsic carrier concentration okay so this is the expression of built in potential so how the, these things are important in the power diode so the diodes that are used in uh, power electronic circuits they are different in structure from the signal diodes so it was very much necessary to understand a simple pn junction diode first then we can understand a power diode so as we all know that power diodes or power semiconductor devices and electronic circuits they have to handle high voltage high current high power uh, they are used in high power applications so there there has to be some modifications in their uh, design their structure so the difference is that the power diode it consists of a heavily doped n plus substrate so i've already discussed about p plus n plus p minus n minus when the n side is heavily doped it is called as n plus so it consists of a heavily doped n plus substrate okay this n plus substrate at the bottom this this one 
it consists of a heavily doped n plus substrate then on this substrate a lightly doped n minus layer is grown a lightly doped n minus layer this this region okay this is the n plus substrate the deep red color and this is the n minus substrate light red color and then on that uh, n lightly doped n minus uh, layer a heavily doped p plus layer is diffused this p plus layer in blue color so first the n plus substrate where the donor impurity concentration is high then we have is the n minus layer and then is the p plus layer the acceptor the p side is heavily doped the acceptor impurity concentration is high so first the n plus substrate then the n minus substrate uh, n minus layer then the p plus layer now here if we compare this uh, power diode with a normal pn junction diode okay if we compare this with this we'll see that in the power diode this n minus layer is the extra structural feature present here also there is a p and a n end but it is not directly connected we have a n minus layer in between this is the power diode in simple diode there is just a p side there is a n side here this is there is this extra n minus layer okay so we have a heavily doped n side lightly doped n end then a heavily doped p end so this n minus layer is the extra structural feature present here so this function of this n minus layer is to absorb the depletion layer of p plus n minus junction okay so the p plus n minus junction the depletion region the junction which is formed this p plus n minus junction and as a result of that there will be a depletion layer so to absorb the depletion layer or the space charge layer uh, region the n minus layer comes in handy okay so depending on the breakdown voltage of the diode the thickness of the n minus layer it changes accordingly okay so the n minus layer as we have already said it is very lightly doped uh, the donor impurity concentration is very low so it is almost on the intrinsic side okay it is almost negligible so sometimes it is called as intrinsic layer and uh, it adds sign uh, significant ohmic resistance to the diode so it uh, helps in um, uh, high power applications because a large amount of power dissipation occurs i square r loss and uh, the amount of heat which is generated for which proper cooling arrangements are required in case of high power applications for which it is used so the power diode okay the power diode here it simply consists of a heavily doped n plus substrate on which a lightly doped n minus layer is diffused then again a heavily doped p plus layer is formed and then the anode and the cathode terminals are taken out so this is the power diode this is the normal pn junction signal diode so here the extra structural feature is the n minus layer okay so this modification and the structural uh, feature okay this makes them appropriate for high power applications now we all know that uh, the pn junction is the basic structural feature which is present in all semiconductor devices be it npn or pnp transistors or mosfets there is p and n uh, pn junction comes in there so this structural feature the structural changes in the p and n junctions the same thing happens in all the other semiconductor devices wherever there is a pn junction instead of a normal pn junction we will have a p plus n minus and n plus this combination okay instead of a simple p and n junction p and n and connected together we will have a p plus then a n minus then a n plus the same series of steps will take place first we'll take a n plus substrate on which 
a lightly doped n minus layer is formed then again a p plus layer okay so the same changes are made to design power transistors and also in other uh, power semiconductor devices okay so this is the symbol of the power diode the same as a signal diode okay so this is the uh, basic uh, construction of a power diode okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much